My name is Shai Fuzari. My company is Atelijen Technology Strangbahat. We are developing a prototype hybrid set box in order to get access for internet on TV. It means that you can have access to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and so on. When I noticed the set of box, uh, at that time I was still employed by a TV station. So I was thinking how to make money on behalf of the TV station. Along the way, I studied the technology, how to develop the set of box in order to get internet access on TV. So I've decided to go into business full time with my trusted buddies. Why TV, not laptop or PC? If you don't have laptop, maybe TV is the best alternative. Every household has a TV set. So why not we use TV centric in order to bridge the digital divide? Pada pendapat saya, uh, penggunaan Aplikasi menerusi televisyen mempunyai prospek yang besar. Seorang uh, pengguna akan merasa lebih mudah untuk mengikuti pengembangan anaknya di sekolah menerusi televisyen dengan hanya menekan uh, remote control dan menekan beberapa butang kekunci untuk mengetahui status anaknya berbanding dengan membuka komputer dan melalui laman web yang kompleks. I bet many people will argue with me about internet access on TV. We all know internet is borderless. So parents might be worried if their kids can access to those unwanted websites. But our main objective is basically how to control internet access for parents. Parents can monitor and also bar certain websites so that the kids won't be able to access them. So with that 500,000, we intend to manufacture a few units and not just to offer a normal TV viewing services but also internet access on TV. My name is Shaifu Zahrin from Atal Legend Technologies from Bahad. Over here, I have my prototype set box that can be used for the upcoming national agenda, a very huge project called Digital Terrestrial TV or better known as DTTV under MCMC using DVBT technology. It is something out of the box, but I do believe in order for the government to achieve the 100% broadband penetration by 2020, you need something radical. So I was thinking, why not use TV in order to receive and transmit internet? So that is the basis of my prototype set about. But mine is different from these uh, TV broadcasters. I'm more to the not so glamorous standard definition TV. If we look at those TV sets, they are more to high definition. But in reality, in measure, how many people got high definition? Uh, the key objective for this set of box is to complement the broadband penetration in Malaysia. For instance, to those rural folks or to those have-nots. I bet when we go to their home, they at least got one TV. So why not use TV as a way to bridge the digital divide? And you, and you touched on going in the rural areas. OK. Parents are being told huh. that children shouldn't become couch potatoes. <laughs> and okay. they themselves shouldn't become couch potatoes. OK. And that's happening in urban areas. Now okay. you're going in the rural. And are you going to propagate that behavior pattern? There are many. Uh, or different school of thoughts. If you argue that you shouldn't be a couch potato, but if you see the edX market, why the edX market is growing? It's because of the battle for eyeballs. It doesn't make any difference between watching TV and laptop. In fact, laptop is, or internet on laptop is more dangerous because you can access everything. At least TV is censored. What is uh, the, the revenue model for this business? Are you selling the boxes? I will sell to the operator. They will bear the cost of the equipment and bundle the package to the consumers. So, so what stops the operator from doing the set-top box by themselves? The operators already tried the set-top box, but to them, they are more concerned of TV program, to be honest. So because they would like to have uh, advertising expenditures. How convinced are you that this objective of trying okay. to narrow the digital divide okay. can be attained? This set of box, let's say if the broadcasters don't buy my idea, I can repackage this set of box and 
uh, sell it as a router because this system is like universal unit. Mm. You can have WiMAX and also Wi-Fi. Mm. So if the operators again do not go with my ideas, I'll market this to the retailers at Laoyat. They know how to sell. And I can bundle that if you buy my equipment, you can get free TV. But why don't you capitalize on the fact that the government is seriously trying to narrow the digital divide and you should spin and sell and market your idea, especially to narrow this digital divide, which is, oh, okay. which is a very, very serious uh, yeah, I would problem agree. that we are facing. Especially with the last mile problem. Okay, the, uh, with digital TV, I hope that the last mile problem for broadband can be solved. And I would market this definitely as you have uh, promoted or suggested. The problem is I use this, I use the MDEC pre money to build this prototype. I don't have enough money to market. So hopefully with the... If it was not on a subsidized model and if you were to sell this uh, okay. you know, by yourself, what uh, would the retail price be? Uh, the price for this unit, because we developed at least two, was about 1,000 ringgit. But you can get laptops now for 1,000 plus. Yes, Why would you buy but, that? but if you go for mass production, it can go to less than uh, 300, 400 ringgit. Yeah, yeah, that applies equally to laptops as well. Yes. My, my point is, you know, why would someone spend a thousand buying that as opposed to one thousand okay. buying a laptop? Okay. Where there are much Speaking many more functional laptop. users for the family. Okay, got it. Speaking of laptop, sad to say, let's study the current notebook that the government is subsidizing uh, to rural folks. What are those certain students or young people are using the notebook for? Is they are using it for games. Why? The problem is the infrastructure is not available or not fast enough. This set about is just a tip of the iceberg. The bigger picture is on the infrastructure. I won't basically, I don't have the money 1.2 billion to build the infrastructure. So hoping the would be license holder will build the infrastructure correctly. So this can contribute to their uh, achievement or success uh, of the digital terrestrial TV. I think you should seriously go and pitch the Ministry of Education. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, because you can have uh, home tuition with this TV. Two-way home tuition. While the students are basically watching TV, they can basically input the answers. Thank you. Though the judges think that Shaiful has an attractive business idea, they are still not convinced that there is enough buying power here in Malaysia. I think that jury is more thinking of us being in an urban area. What about the rural folks and those have-nots? I've already uh, proven the situations. Even though you have uh, subsidised notebook without the infrastructure, they will only play games on the notebook. Malaysia has been trying many technologies even the broadband via power line. So why not use TV as a medium to transmit broadband? I feel very good, even though they are not convinced that TV is the solution, but I do believe my chances are there. We have witnessed three entrepreneurs made their pitch. We will see who will make it to the next round after the break.